Jennifer Lawrence complains about $25 million don't look up payday because Leonardo DiCaprio made more. Um, I love, do you guys remember the concept of first world problems? Oh yeah. I, 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 I think that was the great uniter in society. I was talking about it last night. I said, look, we weren't quibbling about you know what you looked like, uh, what your reproductive organs were. It's just you were lucky enough to be born in the United States, and that was a uh, or in the West, and that was great. But this is even more. However, this is one percent world problem. Yesterday, we were also talking about in the context of Cara Delevingne's strange appearance at uh, an airport in L.A. The fact that you can still have real problems even though you're rich. Absolutely. That's true. That is not At this. the same time, don't complain about getting five million dollars less than Leonardo DiCaprio. You could have gotten way less than that, and it still would have been considered fair. So I, I do want to point out first of all, because this this joke has to be made, that what it is is that Leo she, she made twenty five million dollars, and the thing is, I think Leo just saw the number twenty five and was like, no, I'm not. I, I don't do twenty five. But bumping no. it up to thirty, that it would have made more sense to bump it down to twenty <laughs> mil. I like the idea that he's so superstitious about anything close to twenty five that he will actually take less money so that he can. Uh, so that you can stay away from it. How like, many girls has he dumped that turned twenty five? A lot. It's there we, we we did an episode. I mean, recently. at least it's in it's in the double digits. It's I'm getting sure up to twenty five women, so, which was making him sweat oh, even more. I see what he's doing. There's a funny thing where somebody developed this really intense infographic Thank that, you. that like showed like all of them, their age, his age, and then like how far how he strays from how far he strays from the age of twenty five or the age he was when he made Titanic. It's actually really funny. The internet wins in that respect. I may I may have my strong opinion on whether <laughs> the internet was a good idea, but I do think that it has its moments. So it says, Hunger Games actress Jennifer Lawrence has returned from her brief absence from public life in order to complain about the Hollywood wage gap. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we just adopt the term Hollywood wage gap instead of gender wage gap. Sorry, guys. Quick fact checked. Uh, this is a new show after all. Apparently eight chicks. Eight? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, only eight. eight. Okay. A modest eight. Were they all like 26 when he cut them loose? So apparently one at 23, another one at like 25. The one, recent one made it 22. until she was 26. So yeah. he must have really been that really one. great. Was he ever married? Like had an older nope. one? Nope. Never. Leo. Well, he plans on being a playboy his entire life. Well, even Clooney settled down eventually. Yeah. Like, Leo can only spend so many days on so many yachts. Like he, he, Clooney's he, marriage could end up lasting even a couple of decades. That's, well, how old is Clooney now? He's going to be uh, in his 59 50s. or something. One of the funniest things about, like, Clooney and Pitt, and I always point this out, is, like, they're, like, still the bedrock of, like, what we consider, like, handsome men. Like, whenever there's a joke <laughs> in a show... They make a joke like, oh, this guy thinks he's Brad Pitt. This guy thinks he's George Clooney. Like, those are like three <laughs> decades old references it's you're still like using. Like Einstein. They're yeah. Like, hey, nice job, Einstein. Yeah, they used to do that to me in the 80s. Yeah. The 90s. That happened to you? Yeah. Like, Is the implication like that handsome, smart men have, haven't been born since? Uh, I, I mean, I don't know if it's that or if we're just lazy. <laughs> like, or nobody's guess reached that, reached that level of, uh, of public... Uh, There's a similar question about whether uh, male movie stars are going to come... Uh, receive the torch from someone like Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, can Tom Holland do it? Can Timothy Chalamet do it? Also, when they try to actually make it a passing of the torch, it never actually works. No. Like in pro wrestling, this is a thing where like you're like a, a a very big name will lose to a newer face, and that's supposed to be the idea of like passing the torch to that newer name. But it always feels yeah. so manufactured and forced that it doesn't. Like when I see Noah through. Centineo in the trailer for Black Adam, and this is supposed to be one of the rising stars, or Austin Butler and Elvis. I'm just not convinced. No. I thought Jonah Hill in, in Moneyball was a nice passing of the torch, but it wasn't like a beauty thing. No, no. Jonah's just such a good actor. That's kind of why he got the role. He also was smart enough to get out of doing public uh, uh, public appearances now. He's not doing any yeah. type of public appearance. Oh, yeah, I heard his, he was quote, citing mental health. Yeah, for, a break. for mental health concerns. I support so, it. So it says, uh, Lawrence has been quiet the last couple of years, but it's her most recent film credit being the Adam McKay written and directed uh, 2021 Netflix film. So they're, they're talking about uh, uh, Don't Look Up. And she was also in Dark Phoenix, uh, mm -hmm. where she uh, made so much money she didn't even have to be blue to play Mystique. That's, that's how much... <laughs> they're like, how can we not put her in, in blue makeup? Because Jennifer Lawrence probably doesn't want to wear blue makeup now that she's a, a household name. So it says, Who cares don't, uh, what she wants? So that was a... I don't know. If, did you guys watch Don't Look Up? 
I did not. I did not. I Tim, did not. Tim liked it. I did not like it. It was on the nose. Uh, for, for satire, I wasn't a fan. This could be the subjective nature of the fact that I was just not in the best mood when I watched the movie. But, but if you hadn't known that the movie was satirizing climate change denial, would you have liked it better? Maybe. And that's maybe that speaks to the idea that these people should just shut up when they, when they market their stuff and not make it so uh, that divisive. That seems to be a recurring theme. Yep. So, yeah. it's, so they basically talk about how the movie is absolutely a lecture on climate change. Uh, say what you, what you will, but she made, or she earned $25 million for the film compared to DiCaprio's 30, even implying that her genitalia was the reason she was paid less. She said, it doesn't matter how much I do, I'm still not going to get paid as much as that guy because of my vagina? Well, that is... Uh, that is Question a, mark? <laughs> that's uh, From this same Vogue interview where she just chooses Thank to you. talk about every political issue in the book unprompted did, did it feel like she kind of like recently went off the deep end yes like like, like it felt like like she was like uh what, what's the term they use trauma dumping on i think like, a lot of these celebrities really went off the deep end when they were isolated because of covid yeah, yeah. a lot of people in general i think did. people in general but like celebrities in particular because they don't have friends or family that they are in close contact with yeah. she even was talking about how she only communicates with her family over text message and it's mainly to inundate them with articles that uh scaremonger about abortion rights mm -hmm. and then she feel she said she feels bad and then sends them a picture of her baby I like know. that's i work she, very hard to not do that to not like i type stuff out and then don't send it like i wait and then if i feel really strongly about it and rarely do i ever feel strongly enough about it to, to actually end up posting but just the act of typing it out like they say if you feel negatively about somebody write a letter and then wait 10 days to, she just wait, seems to send it detached from reality and real relationships and what actually matters to people it's so anachronistic to even talk about the wage gap in the year 2022. I just think it's the move because when, when you give like a, a response like that, that's so political, you get covered by both sides because yeah. her side covers is like, wow, aren't you just the greatest thing ever? And the other side just covers it from the argument of like, isn't she the worst? Allow and you me just to, get, yeah. to say I'm sorry for, for being part of the problem by covering this today. Well, here's why these she is kind of the worst. It's not that the headline is twisting her words or the press is asking her leading questions to coax a political response out of her. She kind of hijacked this entire interview just to preach about her pet issues. Is this she is kind of the worst. Was this the same interview where she was saying she had nightmares about Tucker Carlson? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah like totally unhinged. I enjoyed Tim's dis uh, description of Tucker on a, on a horse saving her from danger. <laughs> Last night. Yeah. Like, what kind of reaction like, did she think she would get to saying something like that? I do. If, like, it, if she thought it was anything but mockery, <laughs> she's, she's wrong. off the deep end. It says, however, confronted with the fact that DiCaprio made more than her, Lawrence actually admitted, look, Leo brings in more, uh, more box office than I do before adding that she was extremely fortunate and happy with the deal. It's very all over the place. It's also interesting that they talked about like who gets top call, uh, like top billing. That's a very big thing in Hollywood. That's negotiated right down to the agents whose name appears when and for how long it appears on screen. Mm -hmm. um, if you notice, like they mentioned like Laverne mm -hmm. and Shirley, meaning like co-top billing, but like on the show Bones, Emily Deschanel and David Boreanaz shared equal amounts of, uh, whereas everybody else had their own name individually, since they didn't want to put one before the other, they put them on screen at the same time and every other person's name was shown individually. They were the two stars? So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's, uh, yes. So because they were number two, they were the two top stars, they didn't want to... Um, acquiesced to putting one name before the other since they felt that they shared equal billing so she ended up having the name on this on the same title card scene as his at the same time everybody else came after so okay. that's a big thing to celebrities like it, it negotiates your ability to uh for further contracts or when you think about when they get an emmy nomination or or they win an emmy that becomes something that the production company when they're making a trailer can put featuring emmy nominee emmy uh emmy award winner this person grammy 
Uh, I always like how they hold one till the end. And special guest, that's, the old guy that's been around for 40 years. No, that's or actually, that is considered the second most important credit is the, the last and the first. Yeah, are, the last the, one I was like. Are, are the most, it's like mm. uh, also also featuring or yeah. with. Yeah, that's, that's a big one. Uh, that's interesting because it is usually like the older guy who's no longer. Uh, Wilfred Brimley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like he's no longer allowed to be the star because he's just too old. But he's, his name carries weight and gravitas. Yeah. So they give him uh, second to or the last uh, the last credit. Jennifer yeah. Lawrence has had an obvious change of tune about mm -hmm. this. And I have to suspect that a possible reason for that is she has people on her team whispering in her ear uh, or maybe friends telling her, you deserve better, queen. Mm -hmm. And it can just kind of color her perception of what happened after the fact do you think they actually call her queen they're like yes queen Absolutely. i mean yes <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can girl boss so much harder than leo well yeah. it's because he's not a girl and they're like well he he can't girl boss so you have to girl boss twice as much for him you and i were disagreeing about this but i think leo at least from like our generation is one of the greatest actors that we have uh, and so i just don't know how that doesn't hold any weight for her especially like she's in the industry and she knows that pretty much every single movie he pulls out is a banger and if both of them are in a movie i don't know it's a Leonardo dicaprio movie yeah in my opinion no you're, you're not wrong about that he absolutely is he's worked very hard to do that i'm not like the departed i love um but in general uh, wolf of wall street was Good, I guess, but he's not somebody. Memento, that I see. Uh, not Memento. What's uh, it called? Like Bob, the one that had that sound effect. He's not. He's Remember not the that? one that you I mean. All action movies. Nah, dude. But there's a movie that's specifically that specifically Revenant. I didn't it's see an it. idea within an idea. Oh yeah, Inception. Within, yeah. Inception. Yeah. Bah. Inception. Yeah. Uh, I fell asleep during that. Are you crazy? It, that movie's I, great. It, it was so tired though too, and I was watching it from a distance across the room <laughs> on a smaller TV. Well, that'll do it. I've only ever fallen asleep in a movie theater once. Uh, a movie really? called The Adjustment Bureau. Were and you tired or were you I was just really tired. That yeah. Was, that, uh, Inception was like quiet and, and a lot of droning noise that yeah. kind of lulled me into a sense of mm -hmm. sleep. I think. So what do you think? What is, what should she do? Well, should she, she should accept that Leo's the <laughs> most <laughs> famous <laughs> actor on earth yeah. for That's sure. What, I'm saying. Uh -huh. what she needs to know is it's a terrible look in the first place to even complain about this. Well, because any type of pay dispute in public is a weird thing to like flex right. on. Why are you like, bringing it to the media? Also, she should have a publicist. It's like, maybe you don't mention the 25 million part. Maybe you just say Leo made more than you. So you don't sound completely detached from reality. That's a good point. Right. And, and again, I don't think that having money means you're devoid of problems. That's not the way the world works. You, your life adapts to what your circumstances are, right? People who are She's in that situation. She's obviously got a lot yeah. of problems. I'm not saying she doesn't have problems. <laughs> Missing that $5 million from her bank account is not one of them. The, there's, met, there's, a, there's such a thing as messaging, and, and they have to worry about that yeah. for everything. There was an article I was looking at earlier that was basically showing that uh, Angelina Jolie was the one that lead, leaked the pictures of her and uh, uh, was it Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt when he was still married to Aniston, which proves that it's all image and they're very calculated in how they approach every aspect of their life, not just their on screen life, but their personal lives as well. And there's no reason to think that it's not even mo with social media and the amount of non uh, of uh, non corporate media that we're putting out meaning your own interpretation of the world through your social media platforms that's just as ripe for uh being manipulated and used in a certain way to project a certain image than it would be by leaking to a paparazzi well a jennifer a paparazzi. jennifer lawrence airing her dirty laundry about a pay dispute that's in the tens of millions of dollars yeah. range shows that she's not really conscious uh, or consciously trying to preserve her image, which has ordinarily been that she's uh, one of the down-to-earth celebrities that's yeah. relatable and funny. Yeah. Uh, we should do a vlog segment where we have a pay dispute segment. Oh, yeah. it's great. <laughs> yeah, this is something you would talk about with your therapist for sure, yeah. but not... Or your manager. And there's been this, <laughs> in the last 20 years, this conflation that like social media is therapy, and in a way it is therapeutic to hear back from people. It's instant feedback. You can kind of air it out. You can see yourself saying the things on video if you make a video about it. But it's not the same as like confession where it's you and a priest, you and someone alone in a room where you can get it out and that the world true. doesn't like, see it happening. The press is a sort of confessional for celebrities these days. It, they feel they can just 
lay everything out there with no discretion. I think the worst one was Madonna. Like, she was really out there when she was in that bathtub with milk, was she, it? She just had another one recently yeah. where she's like, she got, she was filming a music video on her own in her in her home, and the cops got called. I'm like, she just, <laughs> feels, she feels like, like, more calculated Britney Spears. Uh, like, she's not as crazy. No. I think she knows what she's doing. It I, says that she actually, com she also complained about only receiving 7% of the profits from American Hustle, as opposed to the 9% that Christian Bale uh, Bradley Cooper and Jeremy Renner took home. Again, you could argue Jeremy Renner isn't as big of a star as her, but Christian Bale and Bradley Cooper are both extremely powerful men within that industry. Maybe she needs a new agent. That That's the number mm -hmm. one thing I say all the time. Whenever people complain about their pay scale in Hollywood, I'm like, sounds like you're not negotiating what you think you're worth. And when celebrities do walk away and say, look, uh, Nev Campbell walked away from doing Scream 6. She's like, they're not looking to pay me what I'm worth. I'm the face of this franchise. I have been since 1995. I was like, then and then but then she made it about her gender and i said no walk away be a professional you think you're worth more walk away and you're all you're doing is making it worse for yourself yeah. well, in a way it is because of her gender because her ability to negotiate and be ruthless in the business sense is naturally lower than a man's well, there's a tendency. It's, it doesn't mean just just because you're a woman doesn't mean that you're more. I think it's conscientious or um, less confrontational or whatever. Jordan Peterson talks a lot about it. Yeah, disagreeability. We uh, agree here that men we tend agree to be more here. disagreeable. Yeah. But doesn't mean that like sometimes women are more disagreeable. It's just there's a tendency that men will. So you know that there's a natural unless, tendency. Unless you're an exception, that's Mary one of the pitfalls. The and then you yes. you have to make sure that you at least employ people who are going to do that work for you if you know that you're not naturally good at negotiating yeah have an agent do it for you who is have I mary do it for you well, I yeah didn't see, <laughs> don't look up but did did uh leo have more screen time than jen there there she's on he's on screen pretty good. they're they're both main characters in that movie mm -hmm. so, so it's like equal kind yeah of. Uh, what about seniority you know in, in regular industry seniority yeah if if you've worked longer you make more money typically but they're gonna say that's unfair to point out because women don't uh, get the same opportunity to to gain seniority if they're casted less once they're older. I mean, right? Let's no one talk about Meryl Streep that gets casted every time they need a kooky lady for anything. A kooky lady. She is. She does play kooky roles, doesn't she? I think she she's does. in that movie. If I remember, I don't remember if it's her or Susan Sarandon that plays the the female president. There's this movie yeah. that uh, Meryl Streep was in called Doubt about uh, this. Do, have you watched it? I try to avoid anything Meryl Streep, as you know. It's, it's, <laughs> she plays this, this nun that is accusing a priest of uh, being a child predator, but she has absolutely no evidence. And the whole thing is like, I have such doubts. <laughs> like the whole thing is they mention the title of the movie so many times that it's like comical. But she is like call that the ultimate credits. kooky lady in that movie. Yeah. So Meryl right. Streep gets paid to be Meryl Streep and Johnny Depp gets paid to be Johnny Depp. That's but why they I, both I, annoy me to no end. I'm just saying, it, I would say it's it's fair to point out that f actresses can't uh, get that so-called tenure that as, as often as actors can. Because when they get old, it's like, peace. Yeah, the roles they, they don't, yeah, they're not, uh, you know, needed as much. That's mm. disturbing. They they no, have uh, a rotating. It, it comes to the stories that Hollywood chooses to tell, meaning that the men age into their roles uh, in in a lot of the bigger productions. Because if it's stories about heroes, if it's stories about high powered lawyers, if it's stories about judges, all of these things are are, are usually male actors and they're older. Uh, whereas women tend to play younger characters, partially because beauty is a, is a big yes. part of that, but also it's because the the just. The sad fact is that those are the stories that they know how to tell and they don't know how to uh, get away from that. Is there like a genetic predisposition to hiding the women in general? Like like in tribal life, if, if there was a crowd getting outside that was getting rowdy and the mm. husband and the wife are like, we got to do something about this. It wouldn't probably wouldn't be the wife that would walk out there and be like, you guys shut up, go home. In the the wife would stay would. invisible so that she doesn't get attacked. Mm. And in then the, the movies guy, now, it would be the guy. It would be the, it'd be the woman. You well, like in, in Prey, yeah. that's an exception, too. But then 
she was playing a 15 year old yes would yep. they make a movie like that about an older woman i don't know uh th there's been a couple of like the 355 was uh, older female action spies they had uh peppermint with jennifer garner where she she it's kind of like the the I like jennifer garner the concept behind the taken films with liam neeson but it's reversed and it's a it's a woman doing it rather than the guy it wasn't as bad as it sounds as somebody who rails against those types <laughs> of movies it was actually fairly okay uh, so that does happen, but whenever I see that stuff, I feel like it never resonates because it's so like you know that that's not the way it would be in the real world, and that mm -hmm. sticks in your brain, and you don't, you may not like if you're not initiated to the way things are in Hollywood, you don't know why it bothers you, but you know that it's not right or that it's not. Realistic. Not even that it bothers you, but that it bores you. Yeah, <laughs> or, or that it just uh, something about this scene feels off. You don't know why, but you know that it does. Mm -hmm. So. It's funny that there's not more shows about older ladies being bros uh, because, you know, the Golden Girls. <laughs> that show was hot. The, right. The Golden what? Girls is such an uh, iconic show, right? It was so good. Well, there's, there's like Frankie and Gracie. There's I miss Golden Girls. Yeah, I, I used to watch that a lot. I think there's some shows like there's shows like that now. I mean, like just Netflix. four stellar actors, too. That's Are what made Golden Girls so good. The Hit, same way? Hits is a, it's a, no. that's up in the air, but you know, the, that might also be like, because like you might be able to, you might actually have an easier time making that work on network TV now where old people are watching it as opposed yeah. to like streaming where they're like, how do I figure out this remote? Like yeah. they don't, they don't know what they're doing. So now it's Stranger Things and Cobra Kai. That's about kids. Can't wait to watch Cobra Kai this weekend. New season. Is there a new season? Yeah. Yes. Season five two, came out like yesterday. I'm like two seasons behind. Yeah. The show rules. Gotta catch Me up. Too. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.